Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you. Say hello, Annie. Hello. Uh, today, I'm going to do a quick video about Gemini Man. Gemini uh, Man? Yeah, directed by Ang Lee, starring <laughs> Will Smith, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, uh, Clive Owen, Benedict Wong, and Will Smith. Smith. <laughs> Uh, the whole setup to this movie is Will Smith is an operative for the government who, after like 70 kills, uh, decides to... Uh, 70 kills? Yeah, that's bad. It's uh, not bad, it's good. That's What? That's awful. You're morbid. I'm <laughs> not morbid. You are morbid. No! Anyhow. Uh... <laughs> He decides to retire, and shortly after he's retired, you know, they decide, typical kind of spy movie, retirement thing, they decide he's too valuable, knows too much to let retire, and they send operatives to kill him. Short, soon after he realized that this super, super tough operative, this guy that he just cannot shake is actually a clone of him, and all kinds of sci-fi stuff unravel. Uh, now, while this movie is really being pitched and hyped, I, I'm seriously come across people like talking about Oscar potential for this film. Pretty much just because, hey, Oscar-nominated movie star Will Smith and multi-time Oscar-winning director Ang Lee's uh, new film. Yeah, but it was also Jerry Bruckheimer produced it, so, you know, it's still just an action movie. <laughs> but I think the movie should be, um, I mean, like, the, the, there's no real twists and turns like you would expect Hi. from another. So, uh, that's your poppy? Yes. <laughs> For, uh, like you would expect Hi. from a, um, uh... Uh, other sci-fi films over the years, but uh, uh, I, I thought it had um, a decent characters, good performances, uh, except for Clive Owen. I've never liked his American accent. He's a good actor, but I don't like his American accent. Uh, and really, really terrific um, uh, 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 action sequences. You know, uh, well shot, good effects. I still am not totally sold on this de-aging thing. I mean, if they're going to do it, it should be used in small doses. To be completely honest, I think the best use of the de-aging effect was in uh, was in Captain Marvel. A movie I didn't even like, but, you know, it's barely noticeable with Samuel L. Jackson. So, well, you know, how they shed those years off of, a quarter century off of. Uh, because, you know, because at the same time, Sam Jackson has also aged very well. Anyhow, uh... Yeah, I'm going to give Gemini Man uh, four stars uh, because I really think it was, I mean, kind of a silly sci-fi action movie. It's a really fun, well-made, well-acted silly sci-fi action movie. So definitely go out and see it. It comes out uh, this upcoming Friday, next Friday, next weekend. So uh, this is an early review. No, I haven't seen Joker yet. Um... Joker. Yeah, I haven't seen the Joker movie yet. I don't, you know, like I know there's all these ridiculous po political things everybody's trying to make. Everybody's trying to make it about their own personal politics, but you know, my whole shake off is, you know, I don't even, not really sure if I like the idea of the movie even existing. Joker, a movie about the Joker that doesn't have Batman, and you know what the hell? Have the Joker and Batman. Yeah, they need Joker and Batman. Anyhow, uh, Jim and I, man, four stars. I liked it. Uh, I hope y'all like this review. Like, share, subscribe, all that nice stuff. I'm Jake Davis. This is Annie B. Rose. And what do you say, Annie? Uh, Poppy. Poppy, absolutely. Catch you on the fly. We'll catch you on the fly. Say catch you on the fly. Catch on the fly. Yeah, she's adorable.